I'm here with my good friend JP to talk about the Belzebub's 360 experience that I had the pleasure to watch with VR goggles. I think, to be honest with you, that's the only way to really get the full experience. Otherwise, you're just kind of fooling yourself. Uh, welcome to the channel. How's things going? Long time no see. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, things are busy, but uh, what else is new? So <laughs> I, I feel like with you, life is always busy. I know, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's just say that Beelzebub isn't your average easy project. So, so yeah, there's a lot going on simultaneously, and it's uh, nothing's ever like a breeze <laughs> in a way because, well, with all this uh, virtual band stuff, uh, you you need to really plan ahead, and uh, yeah, it, it takes time. Plus, of course, I have three kids and the family life and freelance work etc etc so yeah yeah that's it's that's handful. quite a lot yeah, yeah. So, so before we talk about the 360 experience i have to ask you uh, about something that obviously the pandemic completely destroyed and i was really looking forward to it which was the live performances by yeah. beelzebub set uh, for example at summer breeze because i was going to be at summer breeze in the summer of 2020 we all know what yeah. happened and and beelzebub was going to perform there uh mm. and any idea if, if that if that side of the project is going to be relaunched anytime soon yeah yeah that's the plan anyhow so that uh well we we tried it for uh, a couple of uh summers of course but then when the pandemic took out the second second uh festival summer we just thought that okay now we'll we'll need to really regroup and uh first get the second album out and i had uh um, I uh, just started with the animated series, like script writing and etc. So I, I thought that I, I can't like multitask uh, this many projects anymore. So so I have to like focus, uh, focus on five instead of eight. <laughs> so 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 yeah, that's that's why uh, we we haven't like uh, gone forward with with the live shows yet. But. Um, but yeah, now we're we're in a good place uh, in the sense that uh, we're mixing the second album now. That should come out later during uh, this year, and uh, yeah, after that, I hope we'll be able to uh, get back on the road and like plan this plan this out properly. Uh, how, how much of the legwork that you had prepared for those festivals are you able to use? for for what's coming ahead or do you have to start from scratch like 100% from scratch uh it depends like um if we follow the the same sort of template uh, which we had planned uh in 2020 i'll be able to use uh quite a bit of of like the material from the experience and etc but of course like um me being me uh <laughs> i'd like to <laughs> do something unique for the tours and stuff so so yeah um we'll sort of need to get back on back on track with that uh, but yeah, we you... had uh pretty much everything planned out how we'd set up uh the show how much we'd have like um live energy versus the um, the 3d characters and, and etc uh playing around with projectors and, and stuff like that and yeah and then came covid and we ended up with tens of thousands of euros of uh debt because of the pre-production costs and etc so yeah hence the 360. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, in uh and i want to ask you about that because i almost forgot that that was even happening so uh if i remember correctly when when the pandemic hit and the shows got canceled, the festivals got canceled. You guys weren't able to perform. By the way, it's good to know that there's a second album coming out, and yeah. uh, and I hope the festivals go through for you guys and they're successful and perhaps opens the doors to maybe do a little bit of a tour, which I think would be absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, like just uh, just getting a band like us on the road uh, with with all the um, visuals and stuff. We we need to have more than just one festival for example so so that's partly uh the reason why we decided to skip the third summer <laughs> which was al already like it was unstable. like kind of an off and off yeah. yeah yeah like okay well let's not do this the third time <laughs> because uh 
we had seven gigs booked uh, in 2020. And then for 21, we only had, I think, five gigs anymore. And then for for a smaller like uh, uh, price and stuff like that. So so yeah, if, uh, e even in 2020, we would have barely like made it even with uh, with all the costs and stuff like that. So so yeah yeah. Um, of course, merch sales and and stuff like that could could help out, but but yeah. We, we we need to um play it a bit more safe this time around so i i agree with you so yeah. what what happened at that time i remember because of everything that that was going on in the world you yeah. announcing okay let's do this 360 experience and i remember signing up for it paying for it yeah. i i don't remember the details of the website or whatever i, I believe there was different packages if if i'm if yes, i remember yes correctly but because i'm super cheap i bought the cheapest package um <laughs> <laughs> no worries it's all yeah because i'm not swimming I'm, I'm not swimming in money so so i was like and at the time there was a lot of uncertainty in the world i don't and i, and I even knew if i was going to have a job or yeah. or what the hell was going on but i wanted to support you and and yeah. your project so i was like you know what the least i can do is at least buy you know something like whatever the 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 smallest package was but I completely forgot about it because it's been like three years. Yeah. So uh, before before I got the email saying that, hey, you know, here's the link, here's here's how you can watch it and all the information, which, by the way, I thought the email was great because, man, talk about like you, you really need to be blind so that you can read the email or super dumb not to be able to follow all okay. the instructions and all the steps in order to enjoy it. So when I got the email, I was like, I completely forgot about this. I, I thought like, and then I was like, oh, at, at one point in time, I think it was last year or something. I was, I, I remember paying for it, mm. but not seeing anything. And I'm like, did I miss the boat? Did JP mm. run away with my money to, to Latvia? <laughs> like yeah. what, what has happened? But then I forgot about it again and I went about my yeah. life. So when I got this email, I was super surprised that finally it's out. It took you a long time to create this. Uh, uh, it to me, it, it, it felt when when I was thinking about the project, it felt to me like, oh, this is something you can probably like iron out on a weekend. It, it's mm -hmm. not the case, obviously. It took you like what three oh, years? God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Le sounds like you've been missing out on some of the updates I've been posting on um, Indiegogo for some reason. So I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Why? I never go there. I never. I never. I never yeah, yeah, but it, it should be in the same newsletter base oh, really? or list, anyhow. So I mean, yeah. my spam or something. I mean, luckily enough, I saw this one, so that's a good thing. Yeah, 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 good. But anyhow, um, yeah, it it ended up taking a lot more time than uh, what we estimated because at first, um, yeah, when COVID uh, wiped out all the gigs, we were sort of like. Uh, stuck like uh yeah how can we pay back our debts without any <laughs> income uh and uh do we do we get a loan or or what and uh and yeah we brainstormed some some ideas together with the band but then there were clashes with you know with just legal stuff with the uh record label for example that we couldn't do certain things because well, we would have trampled on their feet. So uh, we proposed this uh, 360 thing. Uh, I came up with the idea and asked Oscar, uh, uh, who'd been working on the 3D models for the live gigs, that have you ever done a 360 video? Is it doable? Like, oh, what do you think about this? And he started like getting into... Um, uh, doing some research and testing out and he said yeah i think i know how to do it and then he tested out if we can have the stereoscopic the, the real 3d view as well and he managed to pull off that and etc so that gave us confidence that okay we can do this and let's set up the indiegogo campaign and set like tiers and uh, packages and etc but uh but yeah, there were so many <laughs> like um uh so so many new uh unique problems we came across that we really didn't uh 
we just didn't know what to expect when when actually like getting into uh, the nitty gritty and and uh, like working on on the project because of course the three D models we'd done for the live gigs they were uh, they were planned uh, so that we'd see snippets of of the characters not like a full show you can like watch it in pretty much yeah. every view as possible. And uh, uh, so there were a lot of things Oscar needed to tweak for for the three D characters, their movement, uh, animate the drums, uh, animate the audience, <laughs> <laughs> uh, model the the whole surroundings. We, we needed to instead of having like real lights uh, at a gig, we needed to plan. Okay, what does the light show look like? Where do we set up the lights? Suddenly, I had a new hat on my head. I was like, "Okay, now I'm a light, uh, uh, what you call it, even like a like a stage manager, or like a yeah, yeah, <laughs> light, uh, light show planner. <laughs> What's the real uh, title?" And uh, so, so yeah, there were suddenly a ton of things to like plan out, test out, and just. Just uh, doing doing uh, the the renders and then noticing that okay we have a mistake there and re-rendering that takes a lot of time. Plus, where we were both working, uh, Oscar is working in another firm, so he was doing this basically pro bono, like after hours. I was working with the animated series, the comics, freelance work, etc. And uh, and yeah, yeah, we've been like pushing for real uh, for the past three years, but uh, but yeah, it, nothing could have really prepared us for the amount of time and the amount of work that uh, that we needed to plow through. So so yeah. it was all it was all worth it. I um Thank you. I, I have I think Leon, because of my son, obviously I have VR goggles. Um, yeah. And uh, when I got the email, I was like, okay, I want to, I want to experience this with the VR goggles. I, I, I think otherwise you're just kind of uh, cheaping yeah. out the experience. I mean, it's it, the whole point is to have this 360 experience. How the hell are you going to do that without the VR goggles? Yeah. So I'm not very techy when it comes to that stuff because I don't use them. But so he helped me mm. uh, set up. And he watched me watch it through the goggles. And he, he said it was really funny <laughs> because like, I, I feel like I'm interacting with, with the audience and with the band. Like, you're right at the railing uh, yeah. at the show. But obviously, he doesn't see what I'm seeing. So he just sees me like, you know. <laughs> so he said yeah. it was like a show within the show to watch me with the goggles. Um, <laughs> like, high five people and, and like yeah, be yeah. all excited and whatever. And then there's some shots where you're almost like crowd surfing because there's some shots like from high yeah. up and whatever. And yeah. uh, it, it was such a great experience. But... I wanted more than 18 minutes. I think it's 18 minutes in length. If I'm It's 16 right. something. Yeah. yeah, something yeah. like that. But at the same time, I realized, man, I can only imagine the amount of hours that went into making 16 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, because uh, all of the, uh, all of the band movements were mo-capped like prior to the, well, actually like diving into the 360 stuff. So that was, the material that was uh, motion captured for the live gigs and stuff. And that already cost us like tons of money. <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, I'd love to do more. I would have loved to have uh, an hour, like a proper set, but, but yeah, even just working on this. Uh, yeah. I, I have no idea what the real price tag for something like this would have been if if we would have like actually invoiced something uh like Oscar and myself because we've basically yeah pulled this out of our ass <laughs> uh <laughs> by the two of us so uh and Oscar yeah he's he's uh, been an absolute champ he's uh overcome every obstacle really and uh and yeah, cater to all all my crazy ideas of yeah, let's do this and this and this and so so yeah, I I have no idea what the real price tag for 
for a project like this would really be when you were putting together the the set list that's on this 360 experience uh what what uh, what was the driving force behind the songs that you guys picked uh well that was basically that was like the first leg of uh the motion captured uh songs that we had for the live shows the idea was to then later on get more but start with that because that was what we could afford at the time so we we basically had those three songs uh motion captured and uh at first we thought that well that was actually like one of the tiers if i remember correctly for the 360 campaign that uh for this and this amount if we could get i can't remember if we can get 20,000 funded uh you guys will get two songs if we get more then we'll have the chance to like add the third song in there and like uh then we threw in the the intermission and and stuff like that as well and uh but yeah i would have loved to have for example dark mother or or some other like longer track in there but it's just all the movements all the playing all the drums would have had to be like motion captured for oh, that. Sure. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So sure. so that was basically that was the material we we had to work with. So that's uh, how, how was looking back now. How how was the 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 campaign for you? Was it as successful as you would expect it to be? Did it surpass your expectations? You know, yeah, yeah. It, it did su surpass. Um, and I'm very grateful for to to everyone who who like jumped on board uh, and uh, entrusted us with with <laughs> this process and stuff. Um, we didn't get all our debts funded with uh, with the campaign, so uh, I think we got like um, the three quarters or or something like that, seventy five percent, eighty percent of of our debts covered. But I mean, everything counts, and uh, and yeah, then then the th actual three sixty has been done basically pro bono, uh, by by Oscar I, and myself. Yeah. Have you have you thought about uh, taking the band into OnlyFans in order to recoup <laughs> the other twenty yeah. percent? Yeah, the three sixty experience. You mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> See, you already have a name and everything. <laughs> Just, uh, just yeah 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 it seems well, to be very profitable these days you know yeah yeah <laughs> more for my to-do list then <laughs> well yeah. there's less animation because you don't have to put clothes on yeah yeah and i'm looking forward to the motion capture sessions as well <laughs> yeah, i but... didn't think of, i didn't think about that part i, 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 didn't, <laughs> I didn't think that far i didn't think that far yeah, i can that... play all the characters the, the male characters <laughs> That would be a definitely uh, quite the uh, quite the experience. Yeah, yeah, that would that would yeah yeah. Well, <laughs> for everybody involved, the people participating, the people <laughs> recording, everybody would be quite quite the, the fun situation uh, to do. Uh, I, yeah. I wanted to ask you because when I was on the rail, I noticed there was like a mask on the ground or something like that. Mm. Um, wh what is that? I, I thought it was going to be part of something, but but it just stayed there. Oh almost. yeah, uh, on the left hand side, there's a piece of one of the sculptures, I think, like a head. So, oh, so, is that yeah. what it is? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was something that was going to be part of the show, like they were going to put it on or something like that, uh, mm. and that, because it captured my attention. Because to be honest yeah. with you, I was looking everywhere. I was like. Yeah. You know, like, like look, looking at everything, taking it all in, it, it was, man, it was no, outstanding. It was yeah. outstanding. Mm -hmm. I, I've watched it twice. So I did it first in 180 because I wasn't sure, uh, my, my son wasn't sure if he was going to lag or how the mm -hmm. or how the VR thing was going to go. So I did it 180 and I was like, dude, like, like when I look back, it's black. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, can, can we do, uh, can we do this differently? He goes, yeah, you can do full 360. And I'm like, yeah, that's yeah. what the show is called. <laughs> So can we can we go with the 360? So then I watched it again and I did the 360 and I was like, wow, this is yeah. Wow, this is the future. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I, I'm I'm glad and, and you did it correctly. Like uh because there's a lot of uh 
details to spot. There's a lot to take in. So so that's also why why I think that even if 60 minute minutes seem short, it's uh you can you can loop it many times and like uh just to speak uh pick all the little details and and like uh easter eggs and gags we've like thrown in there so um so yeah uh but of course like uh you get sort of greedy with it because um <laughs> we kept on uh even in the last stretch like okay now we've got everything locked and loaded and let's just like slap this this together and etc and i was working on the led screen that's like behind the band and i'm like i'll add this little detail there just just to make it like pop out and uh i i want one more joke in there and etc for example like the the home video part on, on screen and etc so so yeah it's 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 a bit hard to let go at some time. Uh, yeah, and it was and it was funny from an audience standpoint. I think you captured all the different types of people that go to metal shows. Awesome. The you know, like there was <laughs> yeah, a no. guy like this. Yeah, like he wasn't impressed at all. Like, <laughs> like this. yeah, yeah, they're all like, police. Wow. I, I see one of those at every show that I go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the yeah. ones that had banged from first to last. Like the audience was really captivating. And funny cool. enough. Uh, I know a few people who bought the 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 package. A friend of mine actually he messaged me even before I saw the email saying, "Hey, mm. you know, check your emails because the 360 is out." And okay, when I was awesome. watching the experience, one of the one of the audience members actually looks like him, and I was awesome. like, "Oh, that yeah. that guy looks like my buddy. I wonder if that's him." And I kept waving. Obviously, he's not going to wave back <laughs> because <laughs> well, it, it, you know because at one point in time you're so part of that world that you yeah. created that you almost forget that that it's just a world like you know what i mean yeah. like you, you know when you're listening to the music and you're in there in the pyro by the way like wow like i love the pyro i thought it was freaking cool. great yeah so cool. you, you almost forget that this is not a real world that there's no like we, we haven't gotten to the point where we can interact yeah uh, with the, with the characters so you you forget about that and next thing you know i'm like waving at, at, yeah. at this guy you know you know it, it was it was it, it really messes with your you, with your mind and with your brain the way your brain processes because yeah. for your brain it's almost this is reality because you can yeah. see it you know what i mean yeah. so uh and you can see it in 3d so it's not like you're it's not like you're watching a movie you're you're in you're in this virtual world that you created um which i thought yeah. was just absolutely magnificent so captivating cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm I'm happy to hear this. And and yeah, um the first time I saw it uh like uh, Oscar had testing was testing out the stereoscopic view and we got that working and I was like, okay, this is the shit. Like, okay, this is what we have to aim for and like um cuz we had trouble at some point if we can actually deliver the stereoscopic view uh because of the file size and everything like that but uh but yeah yeah we got that working and yeah it's, it's pretty immersive like um after 17 minutes when you take the goggles off it's like oh there are colors what what the heck is this <laughs> yeah. so, so I, yeah. I also you... like what, what you guys did with the with the setting because it looks like an old cathedral it, yeah. it has that that feel which plays really good off of the band and the record itself so it, yeah it, it's a very immersive experience from from uh from that standpoint uh the pyro uh the up the angles where you're like you're on top of the band like it, it's it's yeah uh really cool. complete work what's the feedback been like from from the fans who purchased the package and now, now obviously have a chance to watch it mm, uh, i think it's been really great uh yeah uh so far, what I've got uh, is uh, just positive feedback. Everyone sort of like understood where the time went, <laughs> even those who who've been sort of like getting impatient and like, is this a scam? Are you ever going to release it? And uh, it, of course, like comments like that have, uh, yeah, of course I understand, but I have to admit that they've sort of. Uh, felt bad because it's not like I'm uh, stalling it on purpose 
but mm -hmm. it's it's been difficult to sort of work on the project and uh in, in a manner that you wouldn't uh spoil all the the experience in a way because we knew we were working on something unique and like releasing like just a snippet of the experience i i think that would have already sort of watered down yeah. the, the 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 awe when you actually like watch it the first time and it's like okay fuck there are the lights there's the atmosphere there's the band there's the audience there's the led screen like everything works so um so yeah uh but to answer your question it's it's been super positive uh and uh and yeah i'm uh i'm very grateful for for all the supports and patience and also the kind comments because they yeah they mean a lot <laughs> after all this like pushing through this for three years especially oscar i know he's been like he's had a rough time with uh <laughs> pushing through it all so so yeah i i think it's it's very nice yeah, for me personally, when I sign up for the package, I sign up for it because I wanted to support you. I knew the, dif mm -hmm. the difficulties that you guys were going through at the time with all the cancellations, as were the festivals and everybody else mm -hmm. in the music business. So when I signed up for it, it was not, it was like, it was more for as a support thing than getting mm -hmm. something at the end uh, of the process. So for me, I kind of like, okay, I'm going to throw my support in and I'm going to buy one of the packages. And then whenever we get back, we get back. I wasn't expecting much. I kind of went in with a different mindset. I didn't go in mm -hmm. with a mindset of what I'm going to get from it. Rather, I went in with a mindset of helping you guys with with yeah. as little with, with with whatever I can. So for me, it was different. I was just like, whatever, whatever comes in, comes in. I wasn't, uh, it was not yeah, like yeah. I was looking at my email every day waiting for an update. I, I agree <laughs> with you, though. If you guys had released anything, even mm. like a five-second snippet, whatever, then you're mm. taking away, it, it's, it's like... Uh, it's like getting a, a, a pre-screening of what your Christmas morning is going to be like when you're a kid versus just yeah, waking yeah. up and seeing what's under the tree. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly this. And uh, I, yeah, it was a, a bit of a pain to sort of like sit on top of this really cool thing. <laughs> just like begging that, okay, please, people have the patience. It will be worth it in the end, promise. But like, yeah, I, I totally... Most of the people I think have had your mindset that okay, they're in like a neck deep in shit. So yeah, let's and we trust them. you. We trust you guys. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I, I, I know, yeah. I know where JP lives. So worst case scenario, <laughs> <let's go> to, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was like, for me, it was not about that. For me, it was about supporting you guys. I trust you guys. So mm -hmm. then it's just a matter of trusting the process. When it's ready, when it's available, we'll get it. Mm, so yeah, yeah. just, just run with it. Just. Yeah, you know, leave yeah. the guys alone. Let them do their thing. Yeah, yeah. Of course, like uh, if we could have, in some way, kept the schedule that it would have come during the pandemic, it would have been like great because everyone was <laughs> at home. There were no festivals, gigs, or stuff like that. So it would have been uh, excellent. But but yeah, with a unique pro uh, project, you have unique problems to uh, overcome. So yeah. So it is what it is. For... But... Were you hoping for a second pandemic so that this could come out now in the second pandemic? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, after this experience, I think there'll be like loads of uh, STDs going around. So <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it, it's it's definitely it was definitely uh, worth the waiting, at least as far as I'm concerned. Now, the question that I have for you is. Uh, a lot of pe the people perhaps didn't jump on board when there was the opportunity to do so during the campaign. Mm -hmm. Can somebody who's now hearing about it still buy it and watch it with their VR goggles and get the four 360 experience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I added a last minute deal like section on Indiegogo. So uh, how it works is it, it's the same same price as what was the cheapest option like beforehand uh i i think it's 10 euros 10 10 dollars yeah. something like that and uh for that you'll get the link to uh check it out but you'll also get the opportunity to download a 
uh, Steam VR app for it if you want uh, to have it on on your uh, VR goggles. We're working on a app for the Meta goggles, so that'll be included, of course, and then you'll you'll get all the other sort of goodies what we're working on, like uh, like animated gifs and and stuff like that. So, but uh, yeah, yeah. So so it's it's still possible to like support us and uh, get the three sixty now. So. I'll uh, I'll ask you to send me a link and I'll put it in the description of the video. That way, folks yeah. can go and uh, and pick it up. Uh, because yeah. what I'm going to do is while we're talking, I'll put in some clips there because you sent me the video, so I'll be able to put in some clips of the cool. experience. That way, people can uh, not only listen to the two of us, but they can also yeah. see exactly you know a little bit of how it how it looks like. I think that will be a good experience for for everybody who wants to go. And I highly yeah. recommend people signing up and and picking it up because. It, it's it, it it's it's unique like honestly i've never mm. seen any the only way this could get any better is i don't know i don't know if they have this in finland but here in north america i believe there's three theaters one in la one in chicago and uh four uh, la chicago new york and toronto they have 4d theaters so mm. a 4d theater basically is you're watching a movie in 3d but there's sounds and there's smells and there's like, uh, like, for example, if the horse is riding through water, water gets sprayed in your face. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. so when you yeah. go see a movie there, you're watching the movie in 3D. But when there's an explosion, you feel the heat from the explosion. Yeah. You, you can smell yeah. the, the, the burning of the explosion really cool yeah. the only way this could get any better is if it goes into a, a 4d theater so that yeah you sweat and farts and beer and yeah, yeah everything yeah, yeah. And, and the pyro you can feel the heat from the pyro and <laughs> yeah. that kind of thing. it's the only way that that could get any better because the experience itself it, it was for me it was something that that i i had never experienced i had such a good time i had a smile from ear to ear i had a, a great time i watched it twice one 180 one 360 yeah. And the 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 moment that I had the link and I got it all set it up and I yeah. I just loved it I loved every minute of it, um, being a big fan of the band being a big fan of what you do having this experience to be there almost to feel like I am a live character within the universe yeah. of the band yeah. it's such a good experience. Well, yeah, that's that's very humbling to hear because that was uh, that was the idea that okay, there are no gigs we can't come over to people, but let's in some way bring the people over to us. And instead of like doing just a live show, like streaming something, we want to bring you to the Bielsabobsian realm as well. So so that's like the meta level of, of the whole show. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad it comes across and, and the sort of um, tightroping uh, as in, well, everything we do with Beelzebub's that it's uh, it's both humorous, but it's also like um, cool, <laughs> and uh, uh, and we're trying to do something unique. So, so I, I think, yeah, your feedback sounds just perfect. <laughs> yeah, I sent you a message right away after I finished yeah. watching. It's like, okay, we got to talk about this because I, I want more people to watch it. Uh, mm. I, I want to spread the word so folks that didn't sign up for the package can still sign up for the package, can still get yeah. that experience. But like I said, I, I'm not saying that if you don't have the goggles, don't purchase it. But mm. but the goggle w without the VR experience is not the same thing. You really need those goggles because I have a friend mm. of mine that just watch it normal without the goggles. And I'm like, dude, yeah. like you're, you're scratching the surface. Like you're really not getting yeah. Yeah. what the full experience can be for you, you know? Yeah, yeah, and it, it's um, even when working on uh, working on the show, uh, like Oscar would send me links to uh, what he'd uh, gotten done and, and possibly some tweaks he he'd done and stuff like that. And I'd always watch with with the computer first, uh, and I mean that works if you don't have the goggles and stuff. But every time I, I put on the goggles and checked it out there. That's when uh, I, I really like remember that. Okay, uh, this is why we're doing it, and this is why it's it's like super cool and uh, immersive and everything. Uh, but yeah, that said, even with uh, just the headphones on, uh, watching it on a computer screen or, or 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 a tablet, the tablet is fun as well because it interacts where you point it. 
um, it works. But of course, it's it's flatter. So yeah, yeah. There's not that that more dimensional aspect to it. I mean, you guys are giving yeah. people a good reason to go buy some VR goggles if you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 was part of the feedback as well. Like people have been saying that okay, this is why VR goggles should exist because. Uh, yeah, they've been super happy with uh, with the show and uh, found that the experience has been something they've been like uh, craving for for their systems. So it was the first time I ever used VR goggles was to watch this. I had never yeah, used them cool. before. My son has had them for a long time. I think he yeah. bought them during the pandemic or something like that. Yeah. Um, I know he just got some new controllers, whatever. Mm. So he uses them often to play games yeah. and whatnot. But yeah. I had never used them before, so for me this was my first experience, and uh, yeah, it doesn't actually feel like you have goggles. It, 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 mm. it, you, you, you kind of forget about it because everything is so immersive. You kind of forget that you have it. Yeah, right? yeah, which obviously yeah. adds to the experience. Uh, JP, thank you very much for your time, man. It was an absolute pleasure to talk to you about you. Yeah. about the 360 experience. Uh, I will be seeing you this summer because I'm coming to your hometown yeah, cool. um, for for a, for a little festival there. I believe it's in an island, so this should be interesting. Yes. So yeah. uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you. I'm looking forward to visiting Finland again. It's been a very long time that, since. Yeah, since it has. Yeah, yeah. Was there. So look. But yeah, forward to looking this. forward to this. Yeah, and thanks for yeah. having me. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. All the best. Cool. Thanks.